you know that photography can be art too? Today, I'm going to take you outside on a scavenger hunt with me. I am hunting for letters that are made out of things outside, hidden letters, and we're going to take photos of them like a photographer would. A photographer is a job that an artist can have where the art you do is taking photos with a camera. So grab your camera, which you have on your iPad, and a buddy or a sibling or an adult, and come on outside with me. We're going to go on a hunt for hidden letters. If you look on your iPad, there's a button right here. That is your camera button. So now I can use this to take photos while I'm on my hidden letter scavenger hunt. And I'm thinking like an artist, an artist who takes photos. So look for creative ways and places that letters have formed. And I'll show you what I mean right now. Here's an example of the whole alphabet made of hidden letters found outside in the world. That's your job today is to find letters in places you wouldn't expect. I found lots of letters. Some of them I used to spell words like this one says love. I even found enough letters that I was able to also spell the word joy, J-O-Y. But it's okay if you can't spell a word. Just find as many letters as you can out in the world and take photos of them. But be very, very careful with your iPad, please. You see right here where I was throwing some sunflowers, I see a letter. It is the letter S. So now I'm just going to take a photo of that letter. So I crouch down so I'm right in front of it. And I just spotted another letter up in a tree. Let me turn this around so you can see it. There it is. Can you tell what letter that is? It's an O. I'm going to take a picture of that one too. It's the letter H. Hey, this hook looks a lot like a J. Get it? From above, like this. It makes the letter T. On the other side of the fence, I noticed that this handle makes a letter. What letter is it? It's the letter D. I'm gonna take a photo. And I'm thinking I wanna spell a short word like love, L-O-V-E, or joy, J-O-Y. I already found a J and an O, so maybe if I find a Y, I could spell the word joy. Hmm. Let's. Hmm. Okay, look at that tree. <gasps> I'm looking for a Y. That shape reminds me of the letter Y. Yes. I'm going to take a picture of that right now. Now, when I take a picture, I want to get a lot closer and maybe turn the camera. So I'm trying to spell the word love. I'm having a little trouble finding an L and an E. So I'm gonna need to get a little more creative in thinking of ways to find or make those letters appear outside. I was about to go inside and give up. I noticed as I was going up my stairs that the edge of the stairs right here looks kind of like an L. So maybe if I zoom in, really close here i am laying on the steps on my front porch if i take a picture like this i could get that letter l seven or eight letters i think i'm ready to go inside and see what i can make out of these letters uh, i'm going to put them together in pages on the ipad to create my image so that i can turn it in okay so now that i've got from my camera I've already taken all these photos, right? <clears throat> what I'm going to do is back on the home screen, I'm gonna scroll over until I get to pages. Pages is right here, click on pages. Now, 
I want to start a new page. So I'm going to go up to the corner here, click on this plus sign. Then I don't want any of that. I want to start a new blank picture and I want it to be landscape so it goes side to side so I can fit all my pictures in there. Now I don't need this keyboard so I'm going to put that away. I'm going to go to add my picture. So I'm going to go to this plus sign right here. Click. Now make sure that you are all the way over here where you see these little photos. It looks like little pictures. And it should say photo or video. I'm going to click that so I can add a photo or video. Go to my recent photos. Here they are. I wanted to spell the word joy, right? So here's my J. Click. Now that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to grab one of those little blue dots in the corner to make it smaller. And then I can touch with one finger to move it around. If I use two fingers, I change the whole page. One finger moves just that photo. So that's J. What's the next letter in joy? Oh, so I'm gonna go back here, back to photos or videos, click on my recent photos, and that was my O, remember? Now I'm gonna make that one smaller and put it next. I could even make it bigger. See how I just did that? I double tap the picture and I move this to increase the size. I want that O to be a little bit bigger. Move it down. Click outside the box. Oh, get that out of the way. Now what's the last letter in joy? Y. So I'm going to go to the plus sign, click photo or video, recents, and hmm, this was my Y, that tree, remember? Click the tree, oh, too big, made it smaller, move it over, and now I can make that bigger too. J-O-Y, done. Now I've got J-O-Y, that spells joy. I'm gonna click up here to rename it, rename, and I'm gonna call it J-O-Y, and I'm gonna put my name on it, Miss Preshul. When you name yours, put your name, not mine, okay? So name it with your name and whatever word you spelled, done. Now, when I go over to documents right here, I should see it here. That one is joy. And this one I just did ABC. So you don't have to spell a word if you can't find the right letters to spell a word. You can just put whatever letters you find in there. Okay, then all you have to do is go to Canvas to your assignments and upload these documents. Another way you can submit this is just to take a screenshot of your document. So then you just click on the document you created. Now this is the other one I made that spells L-O-V-E, love. I already renamed it so that's saved. Now if I click this button and this button on the top edge at the same time, I can take a screenshot. So I'm going to click here and here. I'm going to click both of these at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Clicked both. Now that's my screenshot. Click on that. I can crop this so that I only get that beautiful word that I made. Once I've cropped it, see, once I've cropped it, I can click done, save to photos. Now, when I go down to my photos, there's all of my photos and here is my love. And that's already there. And then I can upload this to Canvas the same way you've been uploading all of your other photos to Canvas.
Can't wait to see what you guys make. Have fun.